Hey guys, how's it going? Happy New Year's. I uh, figured I would do a Quaken video, considering the fact that I have just about all of the iterations here. Um, also, wanted to thank you guys for the, uh, the benefit raffle. Um, I got a new camera. Uh, the X took the old one, so I wasn't able to make any videos. So I had to go buy a new camera. Um, and your generosity uh, helped pay for that camera, so I wanted to thank you uh, very much. Um, 2014 is here. Um, thank God. 2013 was a nightmare for me personally, so I'm hoping that 2014 is uh, the opposite. So we'll see. Anyhow, uh, so I've got several different uh, variations of the Quake in here, and um, as you guys are trying to decide on what to order, what to buy, I figured I would do this video. Um, and I don't really have any script or anything, I'm just going to go through by what I know from working with these uh, different variations and give you my opinion so that you can make a informed decision on which one you go to buy. So, <clears throat> the first variation was obviously the green micarta version. Um, obviously this isn't the most favorite out of everybody's, but it is it is the cheapest. Um, you can get this one for a little bit cheaper than all the other ones, but to be honest, the other different variations are only $10 to $30 difference. Um, these are still out there. I believe uh, Blade HQ has still got them in stock. Uh, so this one has a black backspacer, um, green micarta. Uh, and the weird part about the micarta on these is they're usually... <laughs> One side is one color, and the other side is another color. This one here is not too bad, but on most of them, it almost seems like when they did the programming to, to cut these out, that all of the top sides were out of one sheet of micarta, and all of the bottoms were out of another sheet, um, instead of doing them side by side so that they matched. One side is always darker than the other, which is just odd if you ask me. So obviously this has got the smaller uh, thumb disc on here, so one of the major complaints was getting in here to open it, which is still a major complaint. Uh, there's no flipper on this one whatsoever, so uh, you know the best way to get in here and, and open it is just very um, safely. You can't, and my thumb is really, from, from testing these out and doing this, I've got a crack in my thumb that hurts like hell. Um, so it is possible, but it's not easy. It's not everybody's favorite. So that's the first variation. Um, a nice knife overall, just, you know, everybody had some complaints with it. The second variation was the, uh, the orange version, which I believe is a Blade HQ ex exclusive. So pretty much the exact same thing, except it's got orange D10, which is matching on both sides, which looks ten times better. Uh, you're still only getting a black backspacer though. And the thumb disc, um, because of everybody's complaints, was larger, or is larger, um, which makes it a little bit easier. See, it's easier to get in there. So if you're to get one, this is probably the most um, preferred one that you can get. They're also numbered uh, 0 to 600, so there's only 600 of these made, and I know I've went through a lot of them. Um, so I honestly don't know how many uh, they have left from Blade HQ. I, I would be curious to find out. So not too bad overall. Uh, definitely better than the green one. The next variation, um, so everybody started to do, well I wouldn't say everybody, but uh, obviously Alex Dietz started doing um, the flipper mods to these and then I did one. So. Granted, I know there's other people that are doing them, but I think probably Alex and I are probably the one that's been, uh, that's have done the most of them. Um, just from my knowledge, you know, if there's somebody else that I'm not aware of, I apologize. Uh, it's not intentional. Uh, so the next variation that came out on Blade HQ's website was uh, the orange uh, version, Blade HQ, Blade HQ exclusive, with the flipper mod already on there. I don't know who's doing the flipper mod, it's not me, uh, I don't think it's Alex, uh, but I'm not 100% sure it might be Alex, you know, I don't know. Um, I asked him and he never responded. So pretty much same thing, same disc on here, black backspacer, 
but it has the flipper mod already done. Uh, this is one that I got. Uh, this is a customer's that I'm uh, redoing. The flipper mod on this one is okay, uh, other than the scales aren't really lined up very well. Um, they don't match. See how, there's, see how there's a space around the edges here? You try and make this pretty even the whole way around, and it's not even on the flipper the flipper area. So I don't know if this was from doing, you know, whoever had to do these had to do, ask them to do 50 of them, you know. These come in and out of stock on Blade HQ. Uh, it does flip okay. Uh, there's no real problems there. Um, this is a little sharp here. Um, but overall, uh, if you want a flippered version and you don't want to send it off to be customized by uh, Alex or myself, which we're both, uh, I think both of our books are pretty much closed. I might take a couple more orders, but um, my books are almost completely closed. And I'm not sure about Alex. I know he's getting into more into knife making than pimping, pimping so. So this is definitely um, probably my favorite thus far um, out of these three because you can do the flipper on it, obviously. The next version that came out from uh, Boker, straight from Boker, is a titanium version. So this one here has got a titanium backspacer, titanium scales. Uh, it's got a different pocket clip on here. This pocket clip has got um, you know, a hole in it. It's also raised up higher because it's actually countersunk into the titanium scale. They probably didn't want to have to buy new screws. <laughs> Um, this section here is different. It's not cut out. Let's see how there's a cut out um, because there's no there's no thumb stud at all. So there's no reason for the cut out on either side. The screw is in there. The pivot screw is upside down. I don't really know why they did that, but I'll find out when I tear it apart. And obviously, there is a flipper on there, which is actually more like a Lucas Burnley Quaken uh, with the flipper. Uh, he doesn't do it this way. This was this was just done, uh, you know, so that so that we could do a flipper. You know, Alex thought of that. I believe he did at least, because these did come with flippers, obviously. So the flipper on this one, you know, everybody's been asking me about this one. Um, and I know everybody's itching to get one. Uh, I'm personally not really all that impressed. Um, it's a lot heavier, uh, so the titanium makes it a lot heavier. And to me, a titanium on this knife, I mean, it's only a $100 knife. And for me, titanium on a knife is, uh, to me, I'd rather have it on something more expensive. Uh, to me, this knife is more of a G10 carbon fiber knife. Uh, I mean, the titanium's okay, you know, it's whatever you like. Um, but to put this much titanium on a $100 knife that, you know, if the blade steel was S30V, uh, not uh, CPM or what What the heck is it? It's OS8. So it's OS8. You got an OS8 blade with titanium. Uh, you know, um, bearing system, it is a really thin knife. It's Now it's a flipper. Again, if this knife... I don't know. To me, this version right here, they should have put a better steel, uh, S30V, S35VN, I don't care, something better, and charged more for it. Um, I think you can get this one for like 130 bucks. I would have paid $200 for it if it had S30, S30V or something better than OS8. Um, so that's my only complaint. I, I think they really got this one really, really close, but I, again, if it had better, better blade steel... I think it would have been a lot better of a deal. Also, the flipper on here, and you know, I don't know if this is a Lucas Burnley or Quaken. Um, I think uh, the Burnleys are the, the same. To me, this flipper design is, is bass acts ass words. Bass, yeah. It's upside down, if you ask me. So, um, this side here is curved, and this, you know, um, concave and convex, right? So when you go to flip it, your finger just wants to come right off of it. Um, now if it was the other way around, so that your finger was going this way, your finger would have something to grab a hold of. 
uh, and it would flip a lot better because I know the first couple of times I got this thing, you know, I'm going like this, you really got to push. Uh, it's not so much a light switch, you know, it, it sticks out or it doesn't stick out very far. So you really got to push on it. Um, so this one here, um, I'm going to have to fix that. That's really annoying. I don't like it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, a curve going the other direction on here just like this side on this side and see if it flips better other than that I mean like I said you know uh, I think it deserves better blade steel if it's got titanium um, the flipper is a little jacked up if you ask me so this one here is mine uh, I bought it for myself for Christmas I figured I deserved something and I'm actually not that big of a Quaken fan uh, you guys would probably think that I am because I do them um, to me this is not really my style of a knife it's not something I would carry um, I'm more of a smaller full you know this one's titanium um, like a gray gray mandua you know that's kind of more my style um, than these but so I'm gonna try and make this one uh, something that I would like I'm gonna fix the flipper on here and I think I'm gonna put lightning strike carbon fiber oh I know it's titanium and it's kind of a downgrade no not really it's going to lighten the nut, lighten the knife up, and um, I think it's going to look better. I uh, could anodize these some color. I don't know. We're going to play around with it, see what we can do. So this is the fourth installment of what um, Boker has done, and they've progressively gotten a lot better. I think if um, personally, you know, if I was their product manager or whatever. Um, I would have two versions. I would have an orange version that has the flipper with the OS 8 um, at 130 bucks or whatever, 110 whatever, and then I would have the titanium version with S30V uh, at 200 dollars. That would be my two versions if I had to, you know, if I could go in there and tell them exactly what they should be doing right now, which you know nobody probably cares what I think, but that's my opinion. Uh, the final one is a modded, obviously. Uh, this one's one that I just did, and I have to send it out. It's just black uh, G10 Concord C contoured C CNC. Uh, acid stone wash the pocket clip. Put black screws in it. Put a black thumb disc. Uh, most of the stuff you guys see is carbon fiber or lightning strike or whatever. This one, the customer just wanted plain black G10. Did the flipper mod on here. Um, also did the detent mod and the acid stone washing with the wicked edge uh, this one's my favorite one um, obviously I did it so I mean you guys can say well obviously but uh, for a couple of reasons uh, one it's not overly heavy like the titanium one is two with the uh, detent mod which the detent on this one is actually really strong and with the flipper being the way that it is it's I don't know. It's pretty strong. Uh, this one's a lot weaker, and it's 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 probably easier to flip than this one is with an actual flipper on it. Um, and it stay. You know, there's nothing sticking out. So when you're sticking, you know, if you were to loosen this one up and then stick it into your pocket, I would be a little bit concerned about when you stick this down into your pocket that if you loosen the detent, that if you end up push it on this that this blade can come out and end up jabbing you when you pull it out of your pocket so beware um, this there's nothing to do that uh, there is also a thumb disc so that if you don't want to use the flipper you can um, so I actually think that these are uh, the modified ones you know if and if you guys have got orders for modified ones and you got the titanium one that's coming out and you're going oh shucks you know actually I still like these better um, so I wouldn't be too concerned uh, obviously you know if you want to go get a titanium one go ahead um, but I don't think that you're missing out if you don't buy the titanium one I really don't you know everybody rushed to go get one and I signed up for the email list so I got emailed and I went and bought it immediately just because I knew that they were going to go out of stock um, but I honestly don't know if I'm going to keep it uh, I'm really I don't know I like this one better. It's lighter. So this one I'm going to try and, um, like I said, do carbon fiber or something 
and I'm going to fix it so that I like it. But as it as it is right now, see my my finger just flipped off the flipper. I don't know. Again, I'm not a big Quaken fan. <laughs> Seems kind of odd, don't it? But anyhow, so there's there's your different variations. You can get this one for uh, relatively inexpensive, but there is the issues. No flipper. Uh, the thumb disc is even hard to get. This one here is not too bad. The thumb disc is a lot better to get to, but there's no flipper. This one here, there is a flipper and a better thumb disc, um, but they're, you know, you got to watch for them to become in stock at Blade HQ because I only think they do like 10 or 20 of them at a time. This one is not bad. Um, you know, it's got titanium, so that might, and, and the flipper, if you're not going to get one modded, um, have one sent to, to whoever to, to get one modded, like I said, and this one's not in stock. This is definitely the best out of these two because it does have the flipper. Um, but I really wish that they would have did uh, better blade steel on that one, personally. And then, obviously, the modded ones are whatever you want them to be. You know, you can you can get whatever whatever kind of scales. They they still flip great. Um, and who knows? Maybe the next popular thing, instead of doing the flipper mods, would be to get these and take the titanium off and put lightning strike. Personally, I think lightning strike carbon fiber looks way better than just plain titanium, um, and it fits the knife better. And uh, Lucas Burnley does do a lot of uh, lightning strike and carbon fiber and stuff on his knives, so to have one of these. Uh, with that is not, I don't think, a downgrade from the titanium. But anyhow, guys, like I said, so this is just my personal opinion. This is not me trying to get more sales because my books are pretty much closed. I could give two shits. I uh, just thought I would give you my two cents and um, hope that helped. And uh, like I said, Happy New Year's, and I'll talk to you guys later.